his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. So everything you need for this life and for godliness, for this natural life in this physical natural realm, you need some money. You need some health. And God says, it's given to you. You need, you need to be righteous. You need to be holy. You need to have the uh, you know, fruits of the spirit, characters of God. It's given to you already. Life and godliness. Anything you would need in this world. Everything you would need, grace has already provided. So is your healing already provided? Yes, it's provided. Is your prosperity provided? Yes. The money you need, is it already provided? Yes, it's already provided. The house you need, the vehicle you need, the promotion you need, the good life you need, the happiness you need, anything you would need in this world, it's already provided to you through grace. And I possess it. I possess it from the spiritual realm to the natural realm through faith. So everything you would need, it's there in the spiritual realm. But I don't have it in the natural realm. And I take it by faith. Or what is faith? Faith is the positive response on what Jesus has already given to me. And it's so very simple. But it's so very difficult for us to see that in our daily life. And the reason is we are tend to believe what we see with our natural eyes. You know, people are sick. And when we say... God has already healed you on the cross. So receive your healing. They would say, No, I feel sick. I see myself sick. I don't feel healed. I don't see myself healed. The problem is they are surrounded by sickness. Their family and their friends, they keep on talking about the sickness. So they tend to receive the sickness so very soon. But when we talk about healing, they are not, they're not able to get it they are not able to receive it because the mind you know the mind you know it's getting blocked and that's the reason you need to get into the word of god the word of god says by his stripes i am healed by his stripes i am healed so when you get in sickness you would just say you sickness you have no authority in me your sickness can never be in my life you cannot be in my body i command you in the name of jesus be healed be all right Sickness leave my body. You take authority and you just speak. That is called faith response. You're not speaking out of fear. You're speaking out of faith. So right now when you say I am healed by the stripes of Jesus when you are sick. It is a faith response. It is not a fear response. You know what a fear response is? A fear response would say I'm going to die. I'm going to die so very soon. The sickness will kill me. I am sure that I will never be healed of the sickness. That is fear response. But God says, I am pleased when you live by faith. He says, the just shall live by faith. And it says, I am pleased with you. Now, God is not stopping you from getting the healing. A lot of times, you know, uh, we Christians, you know, we think that God is stopping us from getting healed. We think God is stopping us from getting the money we need. We think God is teaching some lessons through some sickness. That's not the case. On the cross, Jesus took all your infirmities, your pain and your sickness. And he provided the healing. Once provided, is provided forever. And that's it. In my spiritual realm, in my spirit, the healing is already available. Now, in my life, if I don't have in the natural realm, if I am not healed, it means that I am not making my faith work. I am not speaking the word, I am not believing this word and I am not receiving it. See, the grace has given everything you would need in this world. Now, it is our part to receive it by faith. Now, even this faith is given to you. You know, you don't find shops, you know, where they give faith or where they sell faith. Faith is given to you already. 
Jesus says if you have a mustard seed level faith you can speak to a mountain you can speak to a tree and ask it to pluck it out of the roots and just go and fall it into the into the sea he says he's talking about the mustard seed mustard seed faith so there is no problem with the faith because the faith is the god kind of faith it is the faith the same faith which was in jesus so i tell you the faith you have today the faith i have it is not my faith it is the faith of jesus it is the same faith the disciples had it is the same faith god has in the beginning in genesis 1 you see god spoke there was there was darkness there was it was emptiness there was nothing in this world and and out of that he spoke light he spoke trees he spoke plants and it was he spoke he said let there be light and it was he said let there be trees and it was he said let there be animals and it was he spoke the word he spoke the word because he had faith in him that same faith is in me that same faith is in you so there was no problem with the faith the problem i have is i am not using my faith words i am speaking my fear words whenever a bad situation comes i would say i'm done i cannot overcome the situation but a faith wo- a faith response is i can do all things through christ who strengthens me that's a faith response if i speak in faith what written on the word of god starts manifesting and if i speak out of fear what i speak out of fear get manifested in my life and let's just turn to uh uh first timothy first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 fight the good fight of faith it's talking about fighting and it's talking about a good fight so what's a good fight so when i when this verse says that we will have a fight so where is the fight with and who is the fight with the fight is not with some physical people the fight is not with someone we could see the word of god says our fight or a or or a uh, you know a uh, a problem is not with uh, the people you know the people whom we could see our fight and the problem is with this devil so what would he would do see for example if you are sick you are trying to speak the word of god so i was telling you about how you are supposed to speak the word how we are supposed to speak this faith words you would just start speaking you would say that i am healed jesus took all my pain he took all my infirmities he has carried all my sickness so i need not bear this pain i am healed immediately there would be a friend there would be a relative who would say i see you i see you very sick today why are you so sick why are you so tired and then that would come from your mouth yeah i'm very sick i'm feeling very bad for a very long time so what's happening you have just stopped a faith response you have just spoken what you could see with your senses so this is the fight we have so someone is going to say you are in a very bad situation how is the situation i heard that you are in a very very bad situation or you are in debt or how are you get how are you managing it that's when we say oh yeah it's very bad situations are worse i guess we will never be able to come out of this that's not a faith response you would say i can do all things through christ who strengthens me my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches he has done everything for me on the cross grace has provided it to me and i receive it by faith lot of the times you know we will not be able to speak this because we are overwhelmed by uh, the negative situation and that's when we use 
this faith so what is faith faith is a positive response it is you speaking positively what jesus has already done on the cross now we should not think that we are believing and we are having faith and we acting in a different way because you know you see there are a lot of people who are praying and fasting but they still do not find the results the reason is when they pray they say lord please change this situation lord please please uh, heal me lord please do something in my life and the reason is it's not manifested why it's not manifested because healing is not something which god has to give to you it is already given on the cross jesus gave the healing to you healing is in your spirit it's in me now if the only solution for all your problem is me praying i would have i would not be coming here and preaching the word i would be coming to your homes we will have a very big queue and i'll be laying on hands and praying because my prayer is going to change your life you know of course you know you can pray to a sick people they get healed that's there you know there is someone who coming who is coming to the church they cannot operate in faith you know uh, they are just new they don't know much about jesus and what he has done already so we on their behalf pray you know we just say lord you died for us on the cross took this person's a uh, sickness so i speak healing in the name of jesus be healed and the person gets healed and the person has got healed through my faith not through his faith but when he goes back home and when he is sick again he will be searching for me again and the reason is he is not learned faith but you need to get into this word the word of god says that you are healed so when you are sick back at home when you are facing difficult situation back at home you need to get into this word you need to take this word and you need to speak it in the situations where you are that is faith faith is a positive response on what jesus has already done on the cross uh, let's uh, turn to ephesians ephesians 6 16 above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one so uh, faith it's called the shield of faith you know because the devil is constantly looking to throw some kind of thoughts is constantly sending some kind of people he might send some circumstances to hit you so that the word will go out of your life see you are believing for the healing or you are believing for some money you are believing for some promotion in your work you know what would uh, what the devil would do he will constantly give you thoughts of you dying if you are sick there will be a friend who would call you and say you know what the story is nearby our street the person had the same sickness last week they died you know my relative one of my relative last month in in that particular place had the same sickness and died you know what's happening you know this this verse you know ephesians 6 16 it's talking about quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one so the wicked one the devil is throwing lots of arrows on you all the negative stuffs lots of you know so they might they might be the closest person your your family member your friend they might be you through a situation or a circumstance some kind of situation or through people you might have this wicked one working and that's when you do is take your shield of faith and just stand against those situations so how do you stand on faith you just keep saying what you have been saying you know when your when you, when your leg ached you said you are healed now your hip aches and what you are going to say 
you're going to say i'm healed now your stomach aches what you're going to say you say you're healed now you're not able to walk what you're going to say you say i'm healed you keep saying you are healed that's the medicine that's the only way to get healed you know you just go to a doctor he gives you a medicine and you say you are sick and he says take this tablet and now you will be healed you will be fine and you say no i want to be, i want to be well i want to be healed and the doctor says you take this medicine you will be healed you say to a doctor no i want to be healed he says take this medicine you say no i want to be healed and then i will take this medicine no that's not the going to the case the doctor would say only if you take this medicine you will be healed but you know a lot of our christians you know they say i want the healing i want to be healed only after i'm healed i can say i'm healed it's like this you know the, you know you can you know the doctor cannot accept this in the same way you speak this word it is a positive response on what god has already given to you and you just speak out in faith from this word and i tell you that that's going to uh, come in your life um let, let's get into uh, galatians 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 2 Galatians 2 and uh, 16 Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith in Jesus Christ even we have believed in Christ Jesus that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law no flesh shall be justified so this verse talks about how we are made righteous we are not made righteous through any of our acts you might pray well you might uh, wake up early in the morning kneel down and pray you might read a lot of chapters in the bible you might fast you might do a lot of good deeds you might help others you might love others you are so very patient you are so very good but that will never make you a righteous person the only thing which will make you righteous is the works which is already done on the cross and you believing that jesus has done it for you jesus had made me righteous and i am believing that that's make me righteous in the same way if i want to be healed i need to just believe that i am healed by the stripes of jesus if i'm supposed to be prosperous if i need to be prosperous if my, if i if my needs are to be supplied if i want some money all i would do is i would just declare i would just believe that jesus has done it for me jesus has supplied all my needs galatians 2:20 I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now uh, uh, which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me so he says he is living by faith made righteousness by faith of Christ and the life he lives now it's by the faith of jesus this is a christian life you know people are sick sickness comes to everyone in the world we are living in in a in a in a in a bad world a people who have not got saved they have the same situation and people have got saved they have the same situation now the one difference you can make is is, is you have the faith of jesus now through the faith of jesus you can overcome all the situation and all the circumstances well, let's turn to romans chapter 10 romans 10 1017 so how does faith come so faith is a positive response 
of what Jesus has already done on the cross. 